of Christ, a strong and forthright preacher of the word, a mentor and father to those God has placed under his ministry. His message centers on the Holy Ghost, love, righteousness, discipline, and order in the body of Christ. This ministry has really impacted me because uh, that's where I grew up. Every Sunday we were there and once a month we had this Holy Ghost action campaign. We never missed it, so we spiritually, I grew a lot and then I was able to serve in their children's ministry and also attend the Bible College in Bulga. He has a strong desire for the manifestation of the gifts of the Holy Spirit and power of God. He and his lovely wife live with their children in Bogatanga, where he pastors the Desert Pastures, a member church of the Fountain Gate Chapel with a congregation of over 3,000 members. Anytime you must be to preach, I see a man who is willing and doing everything possible to empty his heart of all the virtue that God has placed inside him for the benefit of those who are listening to him. When he ministers, it's fire, 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 fire. It is fire, the preaching is fire. I remember when I was young, he used to love rushing to his meetings because the man used some big words that I'd never heard any preacher use. And we were so attracted to his ministry, we used to go and sit down and he would use all these huge pharmaceutical words that we had no idea of and we'd write it down. But as I entered into ministry, man, I have been totally blessed by this man's ministry. My wife loves him, we love him, our children love him, and we are so excited to sit back and relax and listen to the ministry of this great man of God. He speaks to the poor, he speaks to the rich, he speaks to the unbeliever, he speaks to the believer, he speaks to the weak and the strong, and even to the ministers of God. When he was a student at KNUST, I still remember at the Queen's uh, Hall when we sat down to talk, where God was burdening you to go to the north and then start a ministry. God have used him across the country 
He's not somebody who just preaches the word, but he lives the word. You can see the word taking flesh in his life. And that is why I keep always inviting him. Even though he goes around the world uh, preaching, but he still decided to have his uh, headquarters in Bolga, and he lives in Bolga as well. So I like, I like his humility. Anybody who pays attention to his teachings and ministry will always go home with a blessing. And I know that whatever God has for him, he will be a blessing to us as a result. I would advise you to make maximum use of the privilege God has given to you all in this country and to attend to all these programs. He is also a man of the spirit and I like that about him. You know, we are charismatic. We are not only evangelical, but we are also charismatic. We believe in the move of the spirit. He is energetic, anointed, spiritual, tall, a worshiper, outspoken, outstanding, dedicated, authentic, noble, an author, bold and audacious. He is Reverend Eastwood Anaba, and it is an honor to have him minister to us. I'm so proud of you and your ministry and what God is using you to accomplish. I want to say thank you so much and continue to do what God has called you. And I want to assure you, our prayers are with you. God bless you. You are with your girlfriend, you know, you think it's, uh, the moment she sees a cash guy. Can I have some witness up in here for the guy? Man, the moment the boy start, start packing some Range Rover in front of her house. You might as well go for a prayer meeting. And these days, I, you know, at first it was true of non-believing girls, but today it's true of church girls. At first this was only true of non-believing girls, but now it's true of church girls. In fact, they're the worst. If you leave a relationship because of an iPhone, you're dumb. That's what that's what you are. You dumb, 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 dumb. dumb.